Hey guys, it's Lady Raven, the Wild Witch, and today I wanted to do the weekly uh, card reading for you. I am using the Kali Oracle uh, deck that just came in last week. This deck was actually just released, and it's really beautiful. It focuses on the different aspects of Kali, who some of you may know is a considered a dark mother goddess, and uh, she often brings change um, like like very difficult change, but she's kind of there to support you through it. I myself have worked with Kali quite a few times in the past, so this is why I chose this deck because we're at the beginning of the year and I felt like we needed some hard truths to move forward. So hence Kali. Um, so anyway, so the, the other event that we have going on this week that is important is today, January 19th. Um, yes, 19th is today. Yes, it is. Sorry, my dates are all screwed up. Uh, January 19th, we have the sun entering Aquarius, which means that it's changing signs from Capricorn, um, which is kind of a very grounded, headstrong, earthy sign into Aquarius, which is more like a visionary, uh, a thinker, all of that. So there's going to be kind of a, a difficult, you may feel a jolt uh, in earlier part of the week because of that, but hopefully everything will even out. So... Let's get started with what we have for the week. So for the very first card here that I pulled, and this is kind of interesting because I pulled um, actually card number one and number two for this deck for both houses. And the first time I pulled it, I thought, this is wrong. This is not right. And I took them all down. I reshuffled and I pulled the exact same card. So I figured it's probably what it's meant to be this week. So the very first card we have is Smashana, which as you can see here is um, Kali kind of going into battle mode basically. And Smashana talks about a difficult change that is coming, something that is um, outside of our control. It talks about something that is um, happening that is maybe more global on a some change or maybe more, you know, um, situational for your area, but something that's really kind of, you reach a point where there's nothing you can do about it. You have to figure out a way to deal with that. So this is going to be in the house of obstacles for this week. So the obstacle that we are looking at is there's big change happening. And when big change happens, we tend to sometimes resist it. And we pull back and we go, no, 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 I can't handle it. I'm not doing this. This is not going to work out. I'm so afraid. All of those things help uh, hold us back. And a lot of times those things can hinder the change and make it even more painful than it needs to be. So we have big changes going on in our country this year, this uh, week. As you know, the inauguration is tomorrow. And I know there's strong feelings on both sides um, going on for that. So I would encourage you to kind of keep an open mind, welcome any change that's going to come into your personal life, understand that some things are maybe not going to be within your control. And instead of fighting it, try to go with the flow as much as you can so that you can move past um, this different, difficult change. So, um, that's basically where we are, uh, with the obstacle card, um, Smashana. And then as we move forward here to our, um, opportunity card, and like I said, I pulled these cards first and I thought that this was wrong, but it's Vishvamata. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I love, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It is so beautiful. Um, but anyway, so this card basically speaks to the fact that ask for help when you're going through difficult time and difficult times and Kali will come in to help you in that regard. So at this point, whether you work with Kali or not, or any, if you have a spirit helper or anything, there are big things in motion. There are big things that are happening, but it doesn't mean that you need to handle it by yourself. So this is a card of doing doing something that you need to do with it to basically feel supported so that you can find enough support to be able to go through whatever change it is that you are attempting to go through this week and make it a little bit less painful for you and for those around you because you know change is painful for us so once again keep in mind we are moving from a um earth sign to a air sign today. So sun entering Aquarius is going to feel like a little bit of a transition. And then we have our card of obstacles is Smashana, which means big changes are coming this week, this week, things that can potentially like rock your world, basically that level of difficult change that's coming. And then understand that you don't have to go through that alone. 
you can pull in um, people, you can pull in resources, you can pull in uh, your community, your family, your friends, your spirit helpers, whatever it is. Or you can also dig down into yourself. We all have a reservoir that we probably don't want to tap into all the time. This week may be the time to do it. It's the kind of like, you know, um, you know, Let's go ahead and get it done. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and let's move forward and get changes done and get them finished so that we don't make them more difficult than they already have to be and more traumatic. So I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Once again, the deck for this week is, um, let me show you, this is, uh, oops. this is the deck I'm using this week. It is by Alana Fairchild. It is the Kali Oracle ferocious grace and supreme protection with the wild divine mother. So I hope that you all have a fantastic week. Stay strong. If you're encouraging difficult change, reach out to friends, to family, to community. You can, if you're part of the wild community and you need help and support, you can post on there. And there's a bunch of very, very supportive people in that community that will come out and give you help and advice and support in any way that you need it. So I hope you all have a fantastic week. Bye-bye guys.